Hello, members. I get common questions all the time, and so I like to answer them for you. So I'm on the back office of the Conversion Pros, and I'm in my Contact Manager tab. This is where all the leads you'll see come in. I got tons and tons of leads here. Well, I just did one myself here, and I want to show you. I can see my name, my email address, my phone number, but I'm just going to click on uh, View or Edit. As soon as I do that, it takes me over to a page, and now I can see my name, email, and my phone number. A couple other things here. Let's say I wanted to call me. Okay, that'd be weird, but let's say this was a prospect. You know, we let this, we let you have this extra section down here for notes. So, you know, if I called him today, today's December 14th, let's say it's 3 p.m., left message. And then I could save it. So next time I get in my contact manager, I can remember that. Or let's say I talked to them and said, uh, he said he gets paid Friday and is joining. So I could keep really good notes and hit save. So next time I pull this up, I can see the notes I had. Or maybe, you know, you can continue your notes too. 1215, blah, 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 1216. You, you know, you could write note after note in here so you have all your notes. Or another good thing to do is, if you know, you're talking to somebody and you're getting to know them. Uh, they, maybe they have a son, a Joey. So you can write son's name Joey. And you can put that down as you're talking to them. So if you ever call back a week or two later, you could save this and you know it. You can be like, hey, how's Joey doing? You know, or he was Joey playing baseball. And then that person will be like, wow, this person remembered my kid's name. You know, you could build a rapport that way. So as you're talking, I like to pull up leads when I'm calling them and put notes like that in there. And then I, when I reach back to them, um, you know, you can remember stuff that you talked about. So it helps. Uh, but some of you are saying, well, I have a lot of autoresponders, Dave. I set up five autoresponders. How do I know which one they're in? Well, if you click on mail campaigns up here, um, you will see that I opted into the prospect list. See, I have all these lists here, and I can actually add myself or remove that person to another autoresponder if I wanted to. But I, So I can click on that name and say, well, what autoresponder did he have in here? Well, this is the one he, he advertised. You know, I've been doing a lot of demos for a lot of companies here, so I, I got a bunch of stuff in here. But I, he went into the prospect list, so I know that what list he's in. So you can keep track of where the person went to, and again, taking good notes. And again, they're coming in off your capture page and whatnot. They're also in your autoresponder. And in your autoresponder, which is cool too, just another trick here. When you click on your autoresponder, for example, if I click prospects and click edit, I can actually see how many contacts are in each autoresponder. I got 305 contacts here. I can see how many emails sent, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so that's kind of cool as well. So anyway, that's some back office stuff for you. That's how you're going to know uh, when you get in your contact manager uh, what list they're on and a couple cool tricks for you in the contact manager. All right, talk to you in our video. Now make sure also if you haven't done it yet, click on the webinar tab in your back office. I got tons of training webinars that will teach you a ton of tips and tricks on uh, how to build out your pages. All right, look forward to talking to you.